Alright guys, happy April empties. <laughs> so I have a bag full of empty trash in here to show you guys. Um, I had to upgrade to a different bag because my old bag just fell apart. So I don't have a ton of stuff, but I have a decent amount of stuff I would just like to go through and get rid of. So let's just dive into the bag and see what we have. So the first thing is some makeup wipes. Um, this is the Alba Botanical Natural Hawaiian 3-in-1 Clean Towelettes. Um, it's Deep Pore Purifying Pineapple Enzyme 3-in-1. It's a makeup remover, cleanser, and toner. I don't know if I agree with that. Um, I don't feel like these really removed makeup well at all. Um, but I would repurchase these, and here's the thing. I really like these for in the morning because in the morning I really don't cleanse my face. I just use water to wash off like excess oil. I feel like this did a really good job for in the morning um, just to wipe over my face and be good and done and ready to go. Um, so I did like these and you could get them pretty affordable off by the cost or at Target. So um, yeah, I did like them, but I don't think they remove makeup like at all, especially eye makeup. Oh my gosh, no, you'd be scrubbing forever. So don't buy them thinking they're a makeup remover wipe because they're not, at least not for me. And I just, I don't know. I don't like to scrub at my face to get makeup off. So, um... But I like those for in the morning to just kind of like a quick refreshment or like after I'm done with the gym, you know, just a nice quick refreshment was nice. Alright, I used up a lotion from Lush. This is a 8.4 ounce tub of the Dream Cream. I love this. It took me a long time to use up. Oh, there's a little tiny bit left there on the side there. This is a really nice moisturizing lotion. Um, it was really good. Um and relaxing and calming especially for nighttime because it has a lavender scent to it and it's ultra hydrating because it has shea butter um, what else does it have shea butter jojoba oil cocoa butter olive oil oat milk um, and then it has lavender oil and tea tree oil so it's a really therapeutic scent to it like a really relaxing kind of spa scent with the lavender and it was really nice and hydrating so I would most definitely repurchase this I really love this I thought it was such a nice moisturizing um, body lotion it was especially really nice for nighttime after I'm done with a bath or a shower it just really kind of put me in the mood to sleep <laughs> um, it was just like a soothing scent so a really nice relaxing scent perfect for nighttime so yes I would repurchase that I also, ooh, there is powder spraying out of this, push up bath bombs. Um, this is from Lush, and this was a bath bomb, and this was the Sex Bomb bath bomb. Um, it's a jasmine scented bath bomb, it looks like a little rose, and it was lovely, it smells good, it's one of my favorites. Um, yes, it's called the Sex Bomb, but it's really good. It's supposed to be a sensuous, romantic scent, and that's why they call it that. Um, it's not like an aphrodisiac or anything like that. It's just a bath bomb that smells like jasmine. <laughs> um, so I did really like that, and yes, I would repurchase. Alright, I used up a Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. Um, this was just a little trial size that I got at Ulta, like in the checkout area. It's like $5. I, always, I used to always just buy these little ones because I felt like it was a really good deal and it would last me forever, um, but I have repurchased two big size scents because they were on sale and I absolutely love this. I'm actually going to keep the container and fill it up and keep it in my purse because I feel like it's so good um, to just refresh the hair, help keep it not frizzy, <laughs> um, it helps control the frizz, especially on humid days and I just really like it and it smells like Green Jolly Ranchers. Need I say more? No. <laughs> so it's amazing. Um, something else that I really truly loved and enjoyed, I even cut open because I wanted to get every last little drop of it out. This is from Paula's Choice and this was the daytime moisturizer I was using. Um, I'm currently using the Cebu one right now and I really do love that. Um, I did really like this because it has an SPF in it. Um, this is the Moisture Boost, the Daily Restoring Complex for Normal to Dry Skin. It's an ultra thick and hydrating um, day cream that had SPF but it didn't leave you greasy and I felt like it really prepped the skin well for makeup um, so I did really like this and I would consider repurchasing this in the future uh, maybe more 
towards summer because I, so I could really like double up on SPF on my face. I did really love this and I feel like it's really good for any of you who have normal to dry skin or really dry skin because it's ultra hydrating, really thick and creamy, um, but it blends in nicely and it doesn't um, make you greasy or anything like that. So I did really like that. All right, looks like I have some eyeliner stuff here at the bottom. Um, so something I have already repurchased, <laughs> something I have already repurchased is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, this was in the color medium ash. It is no more. It will not twist up, and I used it all, and I loved it. So I yes, um, would repurchase. I have already repurchased a backup of it. Um, some things I used up. I have no idea where I even got this or how long I even had it, but. <laughs> It's finally dried out and I did really love it. It's from the brand Top Line and it's a liquid eyeliner in the color Cafe. Um, oh, okay, it's, it says here, it's made in Germany and distributed by Trade Secret. So, Trade Secret salons, you know, and stuff. So that's where I must have gotten it. Who knows how long that's been because I've not been to a Trade Secret in forever. But it was a perfect, really dark brown. Um, eyeliner and I loved it. It had a felt tip. Um, yeah, so I've had that for ages and I used it up. Did like it. And the two things I'm just tossing. Oh, I hate this. This came in a glossy box, I think. It's from the brand Ufra. Ofra? I don't know. And it's the Universal Eyebrow Pencil. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> this just like, oh, no. It's so waxy and it just made my eyebrows look so weird and like waxed and greased over and like, oh, I, I didn't, no, 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 <laughs> did not like it whatsoever. And then this one I also have had for a really long time. It's probably like, it's way past its prime. And this was the MAC um, Penultimate Brow Marker. I don't even know if they make this anymore, but it was just like a little felt tip marker for your um, brows and it's like there's not like really much anything left in it and so nope I'm done with that I'll give it to a friend so they can back to Mac it Let's see here and then lastly I ate some chocolates and used up a candle kind of weird random empties um, so the first thing I used up a candle from Bath and Body Works I felt like this one burned really well right? Most of the time you see them like and there's like this much wax left but this has just like a little tiny bit left. This uh, this is a really good scent. It's kind of a fall scent I guess. It's um, nutmeg and spice and this reminded me a lot of the pumpkin cupcake. How annoying is that to hear people sniff on camera, right? That's probably really awkward. Be really quiet when I sniff it but anyways this was a really nice um, rich warm blend of caramel and nutmeg um, <laughs> to mind the delightful memories of a long weekend in the country you know um, it was a good candle and it smelled nice and I did really like it alright on to the yummy candies I ate so um, I couldn't resist these in my Vitacost haul and I ate um, some chocolate bars from Chocolate Love and I wanted to share with you my two favorites um, so that way you guys um, so that way you guys know if you see these, you should get them and eat them and your tummy will be so happy. <laughs> so these are from the brand Choco Love. They're cute. They look like little package mail letters. And um, my favorites was the almonds and sea salt and dark chocolate. Super delicious. And then my most, most favorite one, um, it kind of reminded me of like a Toberlone, Toberlone bar. I don't know, but even better. Yeah, I said it. Um, this is the toffee and almonds and milk chocolate. So it had, you know, oh, oh so good. The crunchy toffee and crunchy salty almonds and milk chocolate. It was delicious and I loved it. So yes, I will repurchase those um, candy bars. So that was my empties, my April empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below the things you used up. And thank you guys so much for watching. Heart you guys all. Bye everybody.